If you're new to the Sony a7 IV, then you clicked on the right video. We're gonna talk about some hacks, or at least that's what I'm gonna call them, that you should absolutely do with your a7 IV, and we'll start with the first one. The Sony a7 IV is an amazing camera for so many reasons, but one thing that I absolutely love are all the custom buttons with the ability to map them to not just a couple settings, but to every single setting you can possibly imagine. So the first little hack you're gonna wanna do is set up a custom button to flag or rate a good photo to make sorting through photos and finding selects a little easier in the culling process. The way that this works is that I have it mapped to my C3 button right at the top here, and I can easily give any photo a star rating just by clicking this button. So typically if I'm on a shoot and I'm showing the client or the model the photos, any photos that the model or client really likes, I just click this button and it automatically gives that photo a five star rating in its metadata. Later in the culling process, we know exactly which photos the client liked and we can set them aside because we can see that star rating. Now if you're using the Sony a7 IV mostly for video, you're gonna appreciate all the great features this camera has. S-Log3, 10-bit 422, 7K downsampled to 4K, etc. But one thing that a lot of people overlook is a feature called Emphasize Recording Display. I can't tell you how many times I filmed a video just to find out an hour of recording later that I forgot to click the record button. Happens to all of us, but it's not our fault. The recording label is just so small and it's hard to tell if you're recording or not. And this is where Emphasize Recording Display comes in. After you turn this on, the next time you go to record a video, you'll notice this red outline around your frame, letting you know that you are recording. I've literally never missed recording something after I enabled this feature. Now, if you're a videographer or someone who's into video, you know just how awesome it is to have APS-C shooting mode in these cameras. If you're new to the video world, APS-C mode allows you to punch in on your image using your camera's sensor. The feature is made for using APS-C lenses on full frame cameras, but with the full frame lenses, it just gives you that extra bit of zoom. Cropping in our image at the same 1.5 times crop we get when shooting in 4K60. So what's the point? It has APS-C mode. Well, I actually mapped this setting to the same C3 button on my a7 IV, which allows me to switch back and forth between APS-C mode by simply clicking this button. This is an absolute game changer. Now this next one is not exclusive to the a7 IV, but it is one that I think everyone should start using right away. Our camera sensor is the most important component of our camera. This gets damaged and you might as well buy yourself a new camera because this one just became a paperweight. So protect your camera sensor at all costs. But how can we do that? The Sony a7 IV has a setting called shutter when power off. And what this is gonna do is close our camera's shutter to protect our camera sensor every time we power the camera off. This is great for changing out lenses and you never have to worry about getting dust on your sensor again. I have yet to clean my camera sensor since the day I bought it. If you're coming from another Sony camera or you just have Sony lenses, you're gonna wanna turn on focus breathing compensation. If this option is gray, it means your lens is not compatible with this feature, but if you can enable it, you're gonna wanna do it. Focus breathing is that zooming in and out effect your camera does when it's trying to focus on something. In movies, you'll see that cameras can rack focus without any zooming in and out at all, and that's because cinema lenses and cinema cameras have perfected this issue so it doesn't happen, and they can get a more cinematic and professional looking shot. But with DSLRs and mirrorless cameras and regular non-cinema lenses, this effect is noticeable when trying to rack focus. So. What focus breathing compensation does is adjust the size of your frame and crop your image in ever so slightly to compensate for that focus breathing. Meaning you can now rack focus without worrying about that annoying zoom in and out effect or that hunting for focus your camera usually does. And lastly, the a7 IV has this double dial here that looks like a Big Mac with the bottom switch allowing us to switch between photo, video, and SNQ modes and the top one allowing us to switch between our different photo or video modes. The most important thing here are the numbers one, two, and three on our dial. These are our memory recall modes where you can set up any settings configurations you'd like. 
The awesome thing about this is that these are actually separate from video and photo mode. So we have three custom configurations in photo mode and three custom configurations in video mode. I have mine set up like this. Number one in photo mode is set up with my drive mode set to single shooting and autofocus set to single shot autofocus. So if I'm taking portraits where nobody is moving, I'll use number one. If we switch to do some shots where the model is walking towards me, I'll switch to number two. This is where I have my drive mode set to continuous shooting. I can just hold the shutter and it keeps firing and my focus set to continuous autofocus. I can switch between those settings by quickly turning this dial. For video, I have number one set up for talking head videos like this, 24 frames per second, shutter speed 150, ISO 800, S-Log3, etc. Number two is the same setup except in 60 frames per second and the shutter speed is 1 125. Meaning whichever mode I'm in, whether that be photo or video, I can switch between these different configurations without dialing in all my settings every single time. With that being said, I hope you learned something new about the Sony a7 IV. If there's anything, like I mean anything you want to know about this camera, let me know down in the comments section and I'll see you in the next one.